Here's your heads up, by the way. Heads up to this five minute quickie. I don't know how long it is, but it's a little bit, it seems to be a little bit down. But the meaning and the intention is far from that. I think you'll, you'll understand when you listen. Warning. 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 You are entering into the unplugged mind of Paul Clough. Clough. Too late. Personal development unplugged. You know, sometimes we can feel very alone when, when something emotional happens to us. I can remember a long, well, not that long ago, a few years ago, when I was in my little dark time, I'm not going to talk about that, but also right in the middle of that little dark time, my mother died, and obviously was very emotional to me, my father, my sons, but even though we were all emotionally touched uh, by mum's passing, you know, a wife, partner, a grandmother, we all experienced it in different ways, because the thing is, you're unique, and we're unique, and unique in a way that we feel things differently. But the problem is, you know, to me sometimes it's as if I'm the only person feeling this way. And the more you walk around and you look at other people going about their daily business, you don't know what's in their mind, but you just think, well, they're not feeling this way. Life's so unfair because I don't feel well, don't feel good. And, you know, Am I the only person feeling this way? Well, unfortunately, yes, you are, because you are unique, and you'll feel the feelings that you feel, because that's the way you've been brought up. That's the way you've um, decided unconsciously how to feel. And so, just like that person walking past, who, who appears to be smiling, well, maybe they've got something inside them too. But the thing is, it doesn't have to be that way. It really doesn't. And in fact, that was... Uh, and is the title of a little book I wrote. Uh, and there's not a plug for that. Uh, you can get it online if you look for it. It's free. But the thing is, it doesn't have to be that way. You can talk to somebody. You could do what I did, write a book. You know, I talked to somebody. I did it by recording it and then getting it typed up. I Means the English is, <laughs> is, and the grammar is a bit nonsensical. So I apologise to anybody who does read it who has any type of grammar alert. But um, it was my way of expressing how I felt. And it made a big difference to me. And it was also me having like my own personal, my personal diary of the things I did to, to move on. And so if you do feel alone that way, I do suggest that you, you start to... To, if you, to write things down, but in a positive way. First of all, write down how you feel, obviously, to get it out on paper so you just know, well, that's it. That's how I feel at the moment. And I don't know how long it's going to be. And some people give you that, that BS information, oh, it's going to take years to get over this, or a long time, and because it, it doesn't, by the way. You can get over things really quickly. doesn't matter what it is especially things like grief. You don't have to grieve for years. Just remember in a different way. The thing is, you know, once you start to put it on paper, you can then start saying, well, if this is how I feel, how do I want to feel? And still be maybe respectful. How do I want to feel? How do I want to get on with my life? Because now you've got a goal in mind, an aim. Now, you might need help to get there. You might need to, you know, because some people think like, you know, if I'm grieving or really sad and things like that, you know, that's just natural. Well, it is natural. But to accelerate that in a way that's comfortable and move on, then see a therapist. Because, you you know, it doesn't have to be depression or manic this and that and, f you know, the phobias and let's lose some weight, let's stop smoking, which are all totally suitable and totally a good goal to have. But just to see somebody and... Let them help you, help yourself to change, to change the way you want to feel. Because feeling that way, you know, okay, it works for a little while, you know, but you don't want to feel that way for a long time. You want to change. You want to be the, be who you really are. 
and remember things how they really were and the best parts of about people. So this is just me saying, you know, yeah, you are the only one. If you're feeling, you know, upset or in grief or anything like that, then yeah, you are the only one feeling that way because you're the only one who can feel that way. You're unique. But also, you're so unique, you have all the resources inside you to change, to be able to be that real you again. Have it as memories of the past, but not affecting the goals of your future. Just using the learnings from those experiences to to allow you to be stronger, to be more resourceful, to be more whatever you fill in the blank because when you do that you can exceed in everything you know therapy which is the word i i don't like that much because i don't think anyone's broken but you can fix yourself if that makes sense not even that you're broken we just need a little help sometimes and sometimes it could be just talking but as long as that talking makes an improvement and we're not just dumping on others or we're just saying the same thing over and over again, indulging ourselves. You know, that's no good to get sympathy from other people, you know, get compassion from other people, get empathy from other people. No, you're more than that, and you can do whatever you choose. So that's just a little word for those of us who, who at a period of, uh, this period of time in our life that maybe we're not feeling exactly the way we want to because of an event that's happened to us. I just want to let you know, yeah, you, You're the only one feeling it because, again, as I said, you're unique. But you're unique enough to have the resources to change the way you want to feel. You just have to take action. Take a little baby step towards getting help because help is what it is. It's help. It doesn't matter where it comes from as long as it makes progress and you get to where you want to be and then start helping other people. You know, that selfless service of sharing and, you know, spreading those ripples of change compassion that's what we want compassion and making this world a better place i hope if you are suffering a little bit this has helped if you're not suffering at the moment absolutely awesome but if you know if somebody does or if anything you know does happen to you you know now you've got the resources to to be able to change so just share this if you know of somebody who needs a little bit of help just a little bit of encouragement to go get help and be their real selves again. So please share and make this wonderful world even more better. Okay, it's me, Paul. I hope it's not too down. I hope this wasn't too down, but I think it just needed to be said. Until next time, this is Paul Clough from Personal Development Unplugged, the podcast. Bye-bye now. Warning. You are now leaving the unplugged mind of Paul Clough. It's time to fly on your own. Be brave, my friend. Personal Development Unplugged.